right, so we are going to start our final panel of the day. Uh, this is panel 18.6, use of lesson study to support quality mathematics teaching. Uh, the moderator is Professor Akihiro Takahashi from DePaul University in the United States. Uh, I want a big round of applause for our final panel and then Professor Takahashi, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, we are delighted to have here as a mathematics educator and thank you very much for inviting us to be this uh, the opportunity. Um, the previous session was great, uh, the presentation in talking about uh, the role of uh, museum and then also the education. Um, the last person's question is quite important because education is uh, intentional and planned activities. So how we could provide opportunity for students become curious and then feel the successful experiment and then those accumulation of successful experience makes students uh, become good in mathematics and then they love mathematics. Uh, we've been talking about how we could make it happen. And we have a wonderful uh, representative from various countries. And then we try lesson study is a methodology for teacher professional development to make this happen. So the first of all, um, I just introduce you know, the briefly uh, review uh, what lesson study is, and then how it happens. Now, lesson study, the many people outside of Japan uh, become interesting result of the STEMS video study, which was published as a teaching, uh, teaching gap in 1999. And this study is actually uh, the, the Japanese mathematics lesson better exemplify current US reform ideas than do typical US mathematics lesson. There are a lot of good education research in the United States. However, the educators, uh, the researchers found that the, it, that is not in the classroom. There's a huge gap between research and in practice. But the, if you look at the Japan, there are a lot of good ideas was there. So, and then they, you know, to find this one, they bring a video camera to eighth grade mathematics classroom in Japan, US, and in, in Germany. And they found various interesting things. This teaching gap become one of the, uh, the popular book in the United States. And then many other countries start using this one for teacher education or researcher reading. And I'm sure that some of you uh, already knew this book. And here's a fun example. Percentage of lessons rated as having low, medium, and high quality of mathematical contents. This is a mathematics lesson, eighth grade. German classroom, almost one third, low, medium, high. And Japanese classroom like that. But unfortunately, US classroom was like this. And then US Department of Education uh, spent money to find, conduct this research, support this research, and then found this was very shocking. This is another the result. Uh, this is a TIMSS 2003. TIMSS is an international comparison about student achievement. And 2003, these are countries participated. And there is a data in a, uh, the vertical, the, the scale is average score, which means higher is better. And then the horizontal side is average percent of the items that were taught prior to the test. That means the set of the same items sent to various countries and then country by country, curriculum are different. And then how much students have learned, this is a grade four. International average, 73% was taught. However, only 53% kind of the average is scored. So even though we teach it, students may not really understand this. In Singapore, 82% was taught in the topic. And then 74% was their score. So this means if you teach more, you can do better. But the United States, it's kind of interesting, similar amount was taught, however, it's much lower. So there is something wrong in the teaching. In Japan, this is very interesting. Only 54% of the content students have learned prior to the test. Yet, 
69% was correct. And this trend was also true in the eighth grade. So many people say east versus, you know, east versus west. However, even the eastern countries, their Singapore and Japan is quite different. If you just compare the test, you may not score, you may not see it. However, it's very different. So the researchers become curious about how this happened. And then they try to help people to implement this idea about you know, teaching through problem solving much more, like, and how to help students to discover by themselves and then feel the ownership. And then, well, the, the Stieger and Hebert, who wrote this book, they talked about listening to experts during special professional development days is not enough. Giving a lecture, giving a workshop, giving a more content course to the teacher may not be enough. You need to do something. So therefore, the researcher looking at the Japanese teacher professional development and then find lesson study, which is teacher work together to plan a lesson and one teacher teach lesson and then observe and critique this lesson, this cycle, which is very unique in Japan. It's been, they've been doing for 130 years. An interesting thing is the original idea of this used at the classroom as a place for teacher learn is coming from the United States, mid-1800. However, the Japan continues to do this. And then, so like a set up a theme and defining and planning lesson, and then uh, the, you know, the research lesson they observe, and then post-lesson discussion. That's a kind of very simple process. However, that might be a very different from typical professional development. For example, left side is typical workshop. Usually, workshop begins with answer. Here is something you have to do this. You want to do this. Lesson study begins with a question. Okay, well, that sounds like a new idea. It's good material, good interesting task. However, how we could use to my student. That's the beginning of lesson study driven by outside expert versus driven by participant. Or communication flow is like a one, or the another one is more like a communication flow among teachers. And then here, in the, you know, like a, the position of trainer and trainee is not there in the lesson study. Everybody is more same. And then importantly, the research in form of practice, which is a traditional workshop. However, lesson study is practices research. So this is an opportunity for teachers to study about their own teaching. So, and that is a lesson study I go very quickly. And go is, you know, the colleagues uh, implement this idea in various countries. However, there are some issues pop up. Even though you implement what Japanese teachers are doing, however, the result from this professional development is not even. Some part is good, some are not. And then also there are several questions pop coming up. So on this panel, we will ask people, uh, the colleagues, to present in a very short way to explain in their project in their own countries. And then after that, we're going to talk about this question as a debate. And then also we would like to invite you to be a part of this discussion. That is our plan for today's last session. Thank you. I will try in a little bit more than five minutes to present you a little snapshot of what math education research can say about lesson study and a snapshot of one of this research we have been doing in Switzerland and in Ireland. Akiko Takashi presented you the lesson study cycle that is often represented this way, with teachers studying the curriculum after having formulated goals, planning the lesson, conducting the lesson in one of the teacher's classroom, observed by the rest of the group, and reflecting on the lesson, and maybe sometimes, that's something we will discuss later, uh, sometimes replan the lesson uh, in view to study it a little bit better. One, part of, one important part of quality math teaching is the mathematical knowledge of the teachers. 
And there has been a lot of research, especially in the US, about mathematical knowledge for teaching, the mathematical knowledge of the teacher. And Ball and her colleagues came out with a subdivision of mathematical knowledge for teaching after Schulman spoke a lot about pedagogical content knowledge. And they divided this mathematical knowledge for teaching in several categories. I will just zoom in on three of them. One is the con knowledge of content and students. So that's more pedagogical content knowledge. But some others are really math knowledge, like common content knowledge. But they also highlighted specialized content knowledge. It's content knowledge that is particular for the profession of the teacher, like the one of unpacking the mathematical knowledge, explaining why a particular little piece of math can be used for solving a problem. And this type of knowledge, sorry, this type of knowledge appeared to be particularly important to explain why certain teachers got better results with their students with that type of knowledge. So what we have been trying to do it to, is to highlight this particular mathematical knowledge for teaching used in lesson study. But this knowledge are a little bit static, and for making it more alive in the practice of daily teaching, we have used some tools of the theory of didactical situation, and that's the structuring of the milieu and the level of teacher activities, uh, formalized by Rousseau and then Margolinas, uh, making it possible to show where the teacher is, what the teacher is doing, if she or he is doing the teaching, if she or he is thinking about the lesson, about the local didactic project, the more global one, or the more global values, or more the observation of the student activities. So what we have been trying to do is to see during the lesson study cycle what is happening with this mathematical knowledge for teaching and this level of teacher activities. We have been studying uh, several lesson study in Switzerland and in Ireland. I will just speak about one lesson study group in Lausanne, French-speaking part of Switzerland. We have been recording the whole cycle, so that's approximately 55 hours of work of the teachers, and we have been transcribing and analyzing all these meetings. So we coded the mathematical knowledge for teaching with indicators and so the type of mathematical knowledge for teaching, the lesson study cycle phase, and the level of teacher activity. Several examples, I will not uh, spend a lot of time on them, but it's teachers talking together, sometimes about very general things, sometimes about very particular things when they were performing a mathematical task they were thinking about giving to the school student, or observing the lesson, that's a note of a teacher observing the lesson. So that's the things we have been coding and trying to know which type of mathematical knowledge at which level of teacher activity and at which stage of the lesson study cycle. Crossing all these three categories, what we have been uh, analyzing is the fact that the type of mathematical knowledge for teaching during one cycle of lesson study are really a lot of mathematical knowledge. You can see here it's about more than 2,000 and 800 utterances of teachers talking about math during these 55 hours of meeting and of lesson. And all the type of mathematical knowledge have been used, but some more during certain phases of the, phases of the lesson study. For example, the knowledge of content and teaching appears a lot during phase two, three, and four. But the specialist content knowledge appears a lot during the phase where teachers are discussing the lesson, also when they prepare the lesson. So what we can see, and that's very different from what we have observed in other professional development settings, 
is that the teacher incorporate mathematical knowledge for teaching in different phases of the lesson study, and they need all these phases to relate this knowledge one to each other. The other uh, graphic I can show now is about this level of teacher activities. The teacher uses the knowledge during the lesson study cycle. When they prepare the lesson, that's mostly on level one, the local didactic project, but also at very general levels, they speak about math in a very general level, but also speaking very particularly when they observe the students during the lesson study cycle. And again, that's different from other professional development settings we have been observing so far in our research. So, uh, to conclude on this part, uh, the teachers can incorporate, they can draw, and we hope they can develop. That's something we still have to study more in detail. Uh, their knowledge at various level of teacher activity during this lesson study cycle. That's the end of my time, I think. Uh, my talk is about Chinese lesson study. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm Rong Jinghuang from Middle Tennessee State University. Uh, my talk is about Chinese lesson study. How Chinese lesson study can improve teaching as a deliberate practice. How Chinese lesson study can improve, uh, can improve math education on system level as an uh, improvement size. And, uh, and how lesson study uh, can develop building connection between theory and uh, practice as a result of methodology. Now I just show you some picture. That's the lesson study in China. So what do you notice? Oh, you may say, oh, this is uh, similar like to Japanese lesson study, what we already saw before. So, so today I will, would like to talk something, what's the similarity and what's the difference? What can we learn different kind of uh, lesson study? Uh, similar to Japanese lesson study, lesson study in China has been taking place over 100 years. And also the structure is quite similar. And which, which happen just uh, every day, I mean everywhere you can see. So, so now, what is Chinese lesson study? So, uh, as you all well know about Japanese lesson study, which includes that four, four stages. So, if we look at the Chinese lesson study, which emphasize, we emphasize three phases and two reflections. Which means, uh, first of all, is we need to understand what's going on in teacher's class. So the teacher normally will teach a class which they believe that the best. And then group of lessons, the group of research and the teaching specialist and the teacher, they will work to, together to see what's the problem in your class. And then they study about stand and syllabus and then to identify what they want to go. So they will design a lesson, which is based on you know, new curriculum and then some innovation idea. And then the teacher needs to teach the new lesson in another class again. At that moment, they will see, oh, what the new innovation lesson looks like? What is that? Any differences? So they will identify the difference between what you have and what we need to go. However, as you know, this plan is not teachers, it's we cooperatively work together. So maybe uh, the result is not so, you know, satisfy, some issue come. So they need to see why this is a good, a good design, cannot produce a good student learning. So they will see what's the fact, what's the reason. And then they will try to uh, modify the design and uh, teach again. Try to see how can they really improve student learning. So that's at least teach three times. And then two reflection, 
So they all work together from beginning to end. So now I would like to identify sev several differences. Number one, Chinese lesson study more focusing on repeated teaching. You have to teach a couple of times. And the second one, they focus on more specific content, which is difficult for student learning, and all some uh, pedagogical st uh, strategies. And also, the knowledge of others, which include university professor or subject math specialists. They work together from the very beginning toward the end. And uh, last one, they always try to compare different lessons to see, try to find which one is much bad, much bad. Okay, so that's the difference between Chinese lesson study and, the U and the Japanese lesson study. Oh, next question is uh, why it works in China. So, see uh, here I have to uh, introduce two key elements. One is about teacher's professional promotion system. As you know, we are professor, we can promote it from a lecture, associate professor, and a full professor. And the Chinese teachers, elementary school and middle school, they are so lucky. They have a quite similar system. So when they get in teacher career, so they will get uh, uh, entry level. And then a couple of years later, they can promote at the intermediate level. And later on, they can promote advanced or master teachers. They are very specific requirement at each level what you need to meet in terms of academically and teaching and also moral or ethnic aspects. And now you will see how can the system support the teacher's growth. So uh, a, novi a new teacher, when you get to school, the principal will assign some experienced teacher as a mentor, work with you at least three years to help you. And they are very specific requirement. How many lessons you have to watch experienced teacher? And how many lessons the experienced teacher you have to watch novice teacher? And how many lesson plan you have to, you have to read? Anyway, so very detailed. So, and also they are one teaching research uh, system which weekly, monthly. So basically they just sit together, plan lesson, and talk about student learning or homework or something like that. They're very weekly. And one more, how can a teacher to demonstrate they are excellent in teaching? So they are lesson contests. Just like any contest. The school level, if you win, and then you can attend the district level, and then city level, and even national level. That's kind of lessons uh, contest. And for those master teachers, they have responsibility to help novice teacher or experienced teachers. So which is we call the master teacher studio. So they will uh, hire some uh, experienced teacher and work together. And then try to help them to promote as a master teacher. So there are multiple ways to help teacher. So that's why. One more is about cultures. In China, the teacher, they believe teaching is a public exam business. So everyone, you can come to see me. And the principal, of course, you can observe. Uh, one more about teachers learning. They believe knowing and doing, they are integrated. If I know something, you, can, you, you should uh, demonstrate how can you do. And the second about uh, how can teacher grow? Not only listen to someone, more important is you have to do practice, slow, we call deliberate practice. That's the purpose for it. And uh, number three, that's about the, you could learn from experts, you can, could learn from your colleagues. That's always, that's three. So, so that's the culture and the system support lesson study works in China. So I just give one example. So how can a lesson study to develop a teaching and also build a connection between theory and the teacher? Uh, deliberate practice, which is a kind of activities. You have to perform many times with exposed immediate feedback, and which will, will uh, result you are 
substantial improvement. So, and then just one example we, uh, we did uh, in China, so which focused on the typical lesson study cycle. But, okay, okay. So, but it's we tried to um, have a teach transform their teaching more focused on student learning. So we in introduce uh, one is a learning trajectory theory. That's from West. How can we see student growth with, uh, in terms of specific content? So, and uh, TV, the kind of teaching through valuation, which is a locally Chinese theory. So we want to try to how these two theories can be uh, cooperative to help teacher growth. So, so we did one in a uh, school, is a good school, and, uh, and uh, a team, a professor, and a specialist, and uh, then some teachers. We did this study. So the result, we have two. One is we have repeated, as I say, so three times, and then we use all those data collect surrounding the lesson lesson study, so all the, those data. So finally, we found number one, number one, selectively, the learning trajectory. Uh, the left, oh, sorry about that. So the left one is selectical, based on literature review, so learning division of flag, you should follow this one, and this one was the teacher develop, first lesson and after the division discuss, and then this is second teaching, and then the, te the teacher develop a more detailed, solid lesson plan. So we can see the learning trajectory has been defined, improved. That's selectively contribution. So one more about uh, student learning. So we, we have the uh, post-lesson uh, assessment. So you can see lesson one and lesson two, you can see what the difference is was the overall performance increase and the particular user representation. So difference and also reason quite different. So overall lesson study can improve teaching and the student learning and the build a connection between theory and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, practice. So is that time? Okay, okay, sorry about that. So, so that's my conclusion, thank you. Good evening, I'm Maitri, I'm from Thailand. And I, my background, I have been trained and studying in Japan for 10 years. Then, so I have a chance to visit a, a number of schools. Then I noticed how the Japanese teacher working together to continually improve the teaching mathematics. Then I bring this idea to implement in my country. Yeah, I'm so impressed with the very client concerns 100 years ago, so I asked my student to do this animation about the school mathematics and the university mathematics. It looks like this. <laughs> so hopefully we can try to bridge this gap yeah, by introducing new school mathematics. Usually we teach mathematics by simplifying university mathematics from the teacher point of view, teaching to the student. The new school mathematics, in my point of view, which should start from the student. So hopefully mathematics education you know, support the student to success in. So the idea of, from the field of mathematics education and it's quite promising, it's problem solving approach. And of course, there is a various type of and focus of problem sol solving approach. Then the research from problem solving approach inform us that metacognition is a driving force of mathematical problem solving, not just a collection of doing mathematics. So this is very important. So how to bring this idea into the classroom to change the way we teach mathematics. In the end of the 20th century, we try to ship away the idea from passive learning to active learning. 
So what we mean at active learning during the end of the 20th century is the student doing some things in terms of mathematics is try to solve mathematics, right? But the issue is not just doing mathematics, but we have to support them to think what they are doing. Then the issue is, I just mentioned, is they have to become aware of their own thinkings. We facilitate test metacognition while doing problem solving. So bring this idea into the classroom. I try to really let this, this lesson study and open approach in Japan. Open approach in my term is a type of problem solving approach in teaching mathematics. So the student shouldn't solve the teacher problem. The teacher can only provide the student with tasks, cannot give the problem. So distinguishing between mathematical tasks and student real problem is very important for the Japanese teachers when they prepare the task for the student. So the idea, usually, typically, we provide a student with a number of tasks, but we thought that the teacher thought that they give the problem to the student, but usually not. The student try to solve the teacher problem. Then they are so busy with this kind of talk. Right? Yeah. They superficially solve the problem. But in Japanese way, they do reverse. <laughs> they bring the teacher together or you can say that the teacher learning together in lessons are the community and invest time to prepare a particular task or problem. And then it's look like this. They can, you, the terms, they have uh, another terms for doing this. They can decide the material and based on the student idea, they can give their way, uh, the, the terms like Kyozai Kenkyu and then. Then we engage the student to this kind of particular task, deeply engage, and then the student can have a chance to have their own problem, not the cheater problem, because the task has been designed to open enough for the student to engage in many aspects of the problem. It looks like this. So design a task like this, it takes time. So you see that now we try to invest in the student individual differences, not just take individual differences as a hinder. So student idea is very important. It's origin of mathematical problem solving. So that's why the Japanese teacher working together doing that. I will show you that in, oh, sorry. Yeah, in, to support the teacher, to design this kind of task, show you some the example in the textbook. In order the student to learn subtraction with zero, is this very difficult for them, for first grade student? It's very abstract. We hope, from the teacher point of view, we hope that we design the experiment, and then if the student keep this pattern, then they understand three minus zero. You see, then. This is one school in the top of, of Thailand, uh, in the north of Thailand, in Chiang Lai, maybe you know, it's close to Tam Luong that the three, 13 kid has been rescued recently, and, and it, the school is not far from that. Yeah, they de we design the experiment, and then the student draw a diagram by themselves, and then write the, this, the number sentence. You see, even we design and we expect that they could understand. But you see this result. Yeah. It seems works. Yeah. This is, yeah, they draw a diagram. Okay. Three minus two. And then this is go. It's okay. It's work well. First try is look at three minus three. And then it's okay. But here for this. The second try, they change. You see that the pattern, the number sentence from their own, it's not easy for them. 
So start from the student idea is very important. Then I'm doing this. We decide that our teacher working together, or in, in other words, you can say lesson study, and then do the open approach, the step for teaching, so that we can get the student idea. And we do this weekly cycle. For, I started this 15 years ago. Now, a number of schools try this approach in, in Thailand. Yeah. Thanks for. I'm going to talk about um, lesson study in Malawi. I would like to acknowledge uh, two of my colleagues which, who I work with, uh, Anna Jakobson and Jana Foskanga from University of Tavanga in Norway. So our study is on lesson study in Malawi primary mathematics teacher education. I'll start by answering the question, where is Malawi? Because I always get that question. Malawi is a small country in Southern Africa, to the east. Uh, we can't write Malawi in the country, so I just put an arrow to show where Malawi is. So here in this country, Malawi, we are working with uh, mathematics teacher educators as part of a larger project which aims at improving mathematics teacher education in Malawi. So we work with uh, primary mathematics teacher educators in a professional development where we use lesson study as the model of professional development. Unlike the other countries, lesson study in Malawi is new. So we are introducing lesson study in a context where people are not experienced using lesson study. So we are interested in our research question to say how do mathematics teacher educators in Malawi understand lesson study. Looking at literature, lesson study in new contexts is challenging. And there are some things which people have found challenging for people using lesson study in a context where they are not used to lesson study. For example, the research question is not always a point of departure. People have found that prediction is overlooked, the importance of prediction is overlooked. There's lack of emphasis on planned and focused observation, and also that student learning is not always visible. So in our lesson uh, study research, we collected data from five teacher education colleges. We work with these mathematics teacher educators. We start with an introduction to lesson study in a workshop, and then they plan their research lessons, and they give it to the uh, three authors, and we comment on their lesson plans, and give, it, give them back, and they revise the lesson plans before they teach the research lessons. So we collected the, research, uh, the lesson plans for these research lessons, the draft ones, and also the revised lesson plans. And those are the two sets which we analyzed. And we analyzed using content analysis, and we are focusing on the things which we learned from the literature. We are focusing on their research question. What is it they want to learn from, their, from this research lesson? We also focus on prediction. How are they predicting how their students, how their learners are going to respond to the task that they're giving them. And we also focus on observation. What is it they want to observe about their students' learning? So in our findings, uh, the results rather, again, I'm going to talk about the research question, the prediction, and the observation. And from the draft plan to the revised plans. So from the draft plans, in the research question, only two out of these five uh, lesson plans had a research question, but it was not, they were not explicit. And two of them had 
a lesson title, which implied some research question, but it wasn't explicit. And one had nothing, no title, no uh, research question. So after the comments, when they revised, for these two who had, which had research lesson and a lesson title had improved a lot. They were more explicit about the research question. What is it they want to learn from the, from the research lesson? And the one that had no title or no lesson research question still had no research question. So this one did not improve much. On prediction, we noticed that this, this had uh, some problem. Only one had some prediction. And two of them had assumptions about students' knowledge, which implied some prediction. And two didn't have any prediction at all. After revision, we found that the one that had, specific, that had prediction had more specific prediction, and it was quite good. And the two had the same assumptions, and the other two still had no, no prediction or no uh, assumptions. For observations, we observed that four of them had few points of observations. And after revisions, three of, three of the four had more well-focused uh, of points of observations, and they had more of them. The one that had no explicit observation still, after revision, still had no focus prediction. So those were the, the results. If we summarize uh, the finding in terms of our research question now, where we said, how are the teacher educators understanding lesson study? We found that research question is not clearly understood as necessary starting point so, but when probed, when asked to do this, they improved and became more explicit. For prediction, we would say that the importance of prediction was not well understood, and they had difficulties with this one. Only one had prediction of students' learning and became more explicit. The others didn't. So this, was, this one was difficult. Observation was the one which was fairly understood, and became more focused and more specific after the revisions. And in conclusion, we see that the findings which we found support the earlier findings that lesson study in new contexts with inexperienced participants can be challenging. Because they did one cycle of lesson study, but that is challenging to move from what is it that they want to learn and how to do it. We also see that there were similarities between the, uh, the colleges, and there were also differences across the colleges. And this tells us that it highlights the complexity of lesson study, because these teacher educators had the same introduction to lesson study, and they had the same kind of workshop, but we can see these similarities as well as the differences. However, we see that the improvements in the lesson plans suggests that lesson study can be used as a model for capacity building in teacher education, and we are very confident about that. We also see that the role of the knowledgeable others, the us, when we are commenting on the lesson plans, is important and needs to be well understood and well defined for the new context such as Malawi, so that we see how best can we help, can we use lesson study in Malawi to improve our mathematics teacher education. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for all our panel members. And once again, thank you very much. Um, as I explained at the beginning of this, the lesson study that many mathematics educators and mathematicians become interested in 1990, late 1990s to early 2000s course the Japanese teaching of mathematics, especially elementary and lower middle school, is shifted dramatically teacher telling to the more problem-solving approach, more student-centered approach. How this shift happened? And then researchers become interested in lesson study process. However, at that time, Japanese teachers could not clearly define what lesson study is because they are doing long time. And also, they do not know the mechanism how this process 
help teachers to learn new approach and then implement it. That was a total mystery. So the researcher become interested that those researchers from outside, it's mainly US researchers, go to the Japanese classroom and then teachers and then kind of describe what teachers are doing. But they do not have a first-hand experience of lesson study. So therefore, they do not know much about why. They, they see how. So as a result, there are a lot of confusion and a lot of debate. And one of the important thing is, uh, you know, like then Chinese people doing lesson study about the same links. But Chinese lesson study is more focusing on perfecting lesson, work together, reteach it. However, the Japanese teachers say, well, there's no perfect lesson. You have to be flexible even though you use lesson plan. Lesson study help you to be flexible. And in order to do so, more like a teacher learning is important. So always the big question is, what is a major focus of lesson study? Is it kind of developing exemplary lessons so that other people can use it? Or teacher learning? So that's a big the debate question around the world. And of course, both are bits and pieces. However, which is the more, more focus? Which may contribute to that the teacher learn new approaches which they are not familiar with? So that's a kind of big panel question here. And then the first I want to ask you, I want to ask the panel to explain a little bit that first question, which is do lesson study need specific instructional guiding, uh, you know, the guiding, guiding theories? So for example, uh, the Japanese colleagues say, you don't have to have the guiding theories. But some others, so let me ask this question to Marcy. What do you think about it, your opinion? Uh, thank you. Uh, in our study, we think that we not only need one um, guiding structure theory, but we might need several theories. For example, when we start in the planning phase, we find that teacher knowledge is important. And we, f we focus on that and we use the MKT, knowledge, mathematical knowledge for th teaching theory, especially the specialized content knowledge, where we look at what you see that teachers need to know to teach this specific mathematics that they are going to teach. And when we come to commenting on the lesson plans, we use previous research to see what is important, like what I talked about, the prediction, the observation, the research question. And when we come to the end, we find the theories of mathematical discourse in instruction important, because that's where now we look deep into the, what the le research lessons and think about what examples could, could, could be good to use, what kind of explanations should be there, what kind of learner participation could be there. So we focus on this, and that guides us in developing the research lesson. Thank you. So in regarding this same question, uh, Longjing, what do you think about from, from your viewpoint? Uh, I would like to offer a, a Chinese view. I think that's Chinese view. Uh, first of all, what does that mean by series? So series could be, we call it, could be local series. You know, the teachers, how to teach every student, every teacher may have their own theory. That we call local or personal. And another we call the maybe grand theory, more broadly. Just like, just like you mentioned about MKT, something like that. So uh, in China, if the knowledge of others, they are specialists. I mean, they work with teachers daily and then Normally, they not not focusing on specific theory. I mean, just use local theory. We call it teaching slow variation. That's every day they talk about that. So they use that theory to try to improve their teaching. However, if university professor as knowledgeable others want to involve the process of lesson study, and then they will bring some idea, problem solving or construct, uh, you know, active learning and uh, in lesson study process. So I mean the theory could be, locally could be grounded. 
So I think that's my understanding. So let, let me ask this question to Ronjin. And you know, in your slide presentation, you talked about that the lesson study is a kind of a way to promote teachers to the certain level. So okay. in that case, is that a, some common expectation in you know, a way of teaching is clear by the teacher, mm -hmm. which is based on certain teaching theory? And then everybody need to follow this way of teaching? Uh, 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 yes. So as a research, uh, lesson study group, they have a common agreement what they want to achieve. So for example, what I gave the example, they believe learning trajectory is a very important idea, which could help stu student, uh, teacher more focusing on student learning. So they want to use learning trajectory. So they try to use a lesson study to testify whether this learning trajectory is doable in their class, or they may define le learning trajectory to contribute the theory. So that's kind of purpose. So let me, let me add to this the situation. The Japanese national standard, even though they have a national standard, they do not specify how you teach it. What is the goal we expect, not only contents, but the way of thinking. However, how is really depends on, you know, leap to the teachers. So like uh, this approach and that approach even the teacher can make a decision. And what do you think about this issue in the uh, Thailand situation? My three. You, you, I, I'm sorry, you are not ready, but I'm you, curious about. In Thailand, the lesson study, a way of teaching is kind of attached to lesson study or specified by lesson study or not? Yeah. At the beginning, when I introduce, as I try to explain, I try to base on some idea on, on some theory, um, on a community of practice, or, or even about the, yeah, the metacognition. And then I try to bring this idea when we develop the open approach more focus on the first phase of problem solving is mean to focus on problem posing then focusing on just giving the problem to the student and focus on problem solving so in, in that sense we we need some kind of theory to okay. base on mm -hmm. yeah. well thank you very much so it's kind of you know country by country or you know the leader by leader is slightly different and also, this is you know, number second and third question. Uh, this is a big debate. It's like, you know, uh, the Longjin emphasized that the Chinese lesson study, once you teach lesson and then see the result, teacher have a discussion. Based on the discussion, you revise the lesson plan and then teach to other group and then see the impact. And then repeat several times so that the lesson plan become more exemplary lesson. So, could you explain a little bit about this one in Ronji? I think this approach is related to culture values. As I mentioned, China emphasizes unit of knowing and doing. Okay. So when you watch a lesson, and maybe professor, experts give a lot of, a lot of good suggestions. And as a teachers, they don't always believe professor. They really, they want to testify in their class with their student whether, whether, whether your suggestion work with their student in their class. If you really, you know, produce some good result, and then they will, oh yes, I learned something from you. Learn something. So we really want to see what's going on in class, not only what professor say. So this is why they need repeated teaching to testify what kind of multiplication will result to result productive student learning. So that's why. And uh, also you talk about uh, perfecting a lesson. Uh, Chinese always uh, value some exports, some good example, want to learn from the example. So as a process of lesson study, 
uh, they have a uh, girl tried to make a bad lesson. This group believe, not, not universal good lesson, but they believe this is best they can. So that's all we try to repeat it. And then finally, they satisfy, oh, this is an example lesson. That's what I said. Thank you very much. That is really, many American educators and teachers love this view. If you teach multiple times, lesson become better and better. However, the Japanese colleagues do not think that way. Because even like a good lesson plan, if you teach, to the, teach that lesson based on the reflection, it's not necessarily always better than previous lesson. High school teachers recognize, like, if you teach the multiple, same lesson to multiple classes, it's not necessarily the last lesson is always the best. They are the different. So that mind, you know, of course, there are some good tasks. However, if you look at the teacher or the student in front of you, the teacher should make a decision about which direction you go. If you draw the single small pathway, if you stuck, you stuck. However, if you have a wide enough, much flexible, you can handle this. So that is more Japanese colleagues think about it. They're not necessarily. Then, you know, from their viewpoint, it might be better not just thinking about how you teach this lesson for the next year or other class. The more healthy discussion is today's lesson student may not accomplish this goal. So what are we going to do for tomorrow for those students? So the discussion is a little bit different. So uh, the Stefan, uh, what do you think about in your experience? Yeah, Switzerland is in between us, <laughs> as usual. Uh, yeah, so at the end of the post-lesson discussion, mm -hmm. uh, the group of teachers will always address the question, mm -hmm. uh, will we learn more as professional by redesigning and teaching the new lesson, or should we go to another topic? So it's really the, the group of teachers who decide if it's better for their professional learning to redesign the lesson or not. So it's really in between the two positions, and sometimes uh, the group will do a second cycle, sometimes not. It really depends on the de decision of the, the group as a group. Okay. Well, thank you. You want to say something? Can I say something yes, about re the repeat, repetition mm -hmm. or revise? According to my experience, when we uh, introduce lesson study in school at the beginning stage, if we ask the teacher, the lesson study team, to revise the plan. Sometimes they just rewrite from their point of view, but not based on the student point of view. This is sometimes is, is quite critical. So for me, I push the device into the yearly cycle, mm -hmm. not, not a, a, a monthly or a, a semester cycle. Okay, well thank you very much. And you know we have we still might continue this big topic. However, let's move to this like uh, uh, the, there are some uh, the some lesson study team the people teacher do lesson study by themselves without having some knowledgeable others. And one of the critique is you know that if you give a time for teachers to discuss even like a good lesson and then then teach it, but if there is not much outside input or guidance does not come, teacher may not maximize their learning. But that's a, some debate also about should we have a knowledgeable others to guide them or we don't need, just teacher need to work together. So uh, in this in Maitri, you wanna talk about a little bit about the knowledgeable others? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, in, in our case, in, in Thailand, we quite have a very specific context. Most of, most of our school teachers are government officials. Then they tend to follow the Ministry of Education. Then they like to, the Ministry of Education likes to Athena, <laughs> looking for the Ministry of Education and try to follow. But when we start lesson study in Thailand, so we need 
a teacher educator or math educator to support, to empower the, the teacher. Because in Thailand, we don't have like a, a professional learning community or uh, school in Thailand is not as a place where we can have a learning community. So we have to, to create all these kind of things in the school. So they need a university professor like us to, to balance the power with the, the head of the educational district. So I think knowledgeable other from university like us is, is very important. Uh, is really it's more need like a facilitator or like support teaching to go through this process rather than providing some contents or we do ideas. both. We do both because uh, uh, usually the the our teacher working alone. So we have to create like a lesson study team. For for example, we have to to talk to the school principal. You have to have the the order that okay the first, second, and third get one team and fourth, fifth, sixth another team. And you have to schedule to meet every week to design the lesson plan and then do some reflection at the end of the week, things like that, we, we have to, to, to facilitate them all the time, both uh, the, the process and the content. So it looks like in China's res Chinese lesson study that knowledge others seems like a quite important role. Could yeah. you explain a little um, bit more? Uh, as I mentioned, in China, there are te teacher promotion system. So when you get a master teacher, that's automatically you are expert. That's a locally recognized. So that's number one, a, a lot of knowledgeable others in each school. And uh, particularly, and uh, we have a teaching research system. So each district, there are some officers. They, their job, their full-time job, go to different school, watch lesson, discuss with teachers. So they are specialists also, and of course university professor. So in China, it's not an issue to find the knowledge of others, a lot of, yes. But in the US, at the US, I work here, and then issue. One district, maybe only one specialist. So he or she cannot take care of all the different schools. So that's what we are thinking, how can we prepare those knowledge of others, slow some PD program. Yes. Yes, Marie, Marcy. Thank you. In our context, which is new to lesson study, we find that uh, having knowledge of others is crucial. It's important for the uh, new participants to learn about lesson study. It's important for them to see how to do the lesson study. So we've learned on, not only from research, even from our own study, how important it is. On, even just to comment on their lesson plans, it helps them improve and understand lesson study better. I have a privilege to observe various uh, lesson study in more than 20 U.S. states schooling and then also 18 countries. And very often the teachers do not know how to discuss each other. Usually teachers say, oh, that's a nice lesson. You did a great job. And then the discussion ends. There are not much. So probably even like a facilitator or like a giving some question based on a critical observation might be quite important. Okay, so, and then the last one is, what is the specif uh, specificity of lesson study in terms of teacher learning? So, uh, the S Stefan, you, your research is focusing on teacher learning, so could you explain a little bit about this? Yeah, one, one point is uh, that it's really related to the content and especially with primary school teachers, but not, not only. They are not often focusing on the content when they are talking together. Uh, by the way, they are not talking together. So probably one of the specificity is this relation to the content. Another one is the collaborative uh, aspect of it. Uh, and it's quite rare, at least in Switzerland, that teachers really collaborate. Uh, and that's an important point. Another one, uh, is that it's really about the teaching and not about the teacher. It's always impressive for me and for many other colleagues I've 
talking to about that, how teachers see themselves teaching when they observe the lessons they have prepared together. I've uh, spoken about an avatar effect. The teacher see himself or herself teaching. And therefore, they have no fear, no fear to teach in front of the colleagues. And that's always a surprise with new groups. At the beginning, we always think, oh, maybe nobody will want to teach in front of colleagues. But no problem, never so far. And no problem also to say, I don't know. This problem I give to my students, I don't know the answer. It's a third grade problem, but I cannot solve it. And that's quite, quite important. And yeah, I think the, yeah, Kathleen Lewis said that lesson study is a simple idea. What is more evident than to gather with colleagues, to speak about lesson, to teach? But in fact, it's like the ordinary job of teaching, preparing lesson, teaching, observing lesson, reflecting about it. But in fact, it's so magnified that it can create professional development by being really close to everyday reality, but with a distant point of view at the same time. So probably it's one important point too. Well, thank you very much. Uh, one last question to the panel. Um, people keep asking, what is the impact of lesson study? And of course, there are some test score. If the test, test score is jumping up, that would be great. However, beside of the student test score, what might be your, uh, you see a result of lesson study? Marcy, you want to say? Sure. Uh, we, find, we do lesson study in teacher education. We find the products uh, very important uh, for professional development and for teacher education. For example, when they do the lesson, uh, the research lesson, they are video recorded, and when they reteach it, they, it's also video recorded. The videos can be shown to pre-service teachers. The perfected lesson plans can also be used by uh, teacher, uh, student teachers when they are learning to plan their own lesson plans. They have something which they can use as an example of a lesson plan and help to make them learn how to do lesson plans. And watching the videos can also help them see what teaching is about, how to learn about teaching, and how to learn about students' learning. Okay, you want to add something? Any other members? <coughs> so talk about uh, effect of lesson study. So they are, I mean, they are different aspects. That's one way to talk about student learning. That's a perfect if. And the second about teachers learning. That's very important as you can, can see something. And the uh, third one I think is important also, the build a community of student learning. So through lessons that they build a community, they work together, they feel comfortable. They are willing to learn each other. So I think that's also one. And the uh, last one is also important, to develop the connection between research and uh, practice. You know, the division between research and uh, practice, that's a long time the issue, even today. So lesson study could be a powerful way to build, to narrow that gap. So I think that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, you know, I'm sorry, the organizer asked us to have at least 30 minutes for discussion, uh, the, the question time. However, we only have 15 minutes. So may I ask you, if you have any question, please ask to the panel. Yes, please. Uh, my name is Yuriko from Brazil, and I'm Japanese. And I introduced the lesson study here in my environment, my university, my uh, school teachers, uh, graduate program. And I have been working with the lesson study for over 10 years. And I learned a lot from Japan. And I know also the, the, the problems and obstacles of the uh, developing country. So I'd like to ask the panel, because uh, uh, Maitri, for example, and Mercy are also from the developing country uh, struggling with the improvement of mathematics education. 
one of the major obstacles in Brazil is that the, the school system, and uh, it's not just the, the willingness of the school teachers and the learning community to, to, to do lesson study, but the obstacle of the administration and the school reforms and the curriculum reform to, uh, to intervene and uh, prevent the, the good results of a lesson study cycle. So I'd like to ask uh, the, the panel, why, how do you do with this uh, political administration uh, background to, uh, as a context, as, because a school education is a political matter? Thank you very much. It's quite, quite an important question. So many people do not know why we have to do this. Anyone, could you share your experience? Uh, thank you. Yes, in, in my context, uh, the education is very political, as you say. We always have to go through a lot of uh, bureaucracy, the system, to get permission to do this. So we started at the beginning, when we started the project, we had to go to the Ministry of Education and get the approval. We had to go to the, they have a Department of Teacher Education and get approval. And when we go to the colleges, we had to go through from the principal to the head of department to everybody in the department. What we, have, what we have found very useful is also to invite all these important departments to our workshop. So when we have the workshop, we invite the Minister of Education and the regional people where the workshop will be, and all the, the principals, even though they are not mathematics, and everybody else who might cause a problem <laughs> to the workshop. And when they are aware of the workshop, when they know about that we have been informed, usually there are less problems. But there are always some issues. But it's better when we start with them before we go to the institutions. In, in my case, uh, I plan long-term project. It's 30-year projects and try to make an impact directly to the, the school to change one school that worked with us for 12 years climbing up from uh, the national score from 12 now is more than 50 and then we try to cultivate a young generation of math educator and teacher educator with our XPHD student, now we have like 45 XPHD students working across the country in the teacher education and still work with the school in, in their area. And first, we try to make this to interfriend the policy maker. And luckily, last five year, the government planned a big project so that we can expand the idea, and then hopefully we can, yeah, continue with this. Yes. Uh, I would like to add my experience how I adopt the Chinese lesson study in the U.S. In the U.S. As you know, teachers worry about, scared about observe lessons. They don't want someone to observe. So what we did, we, uh, first of all, we ask experts to teach to give public lesson. And then invite those teachers to attend. And after that, we organize how can we discuss the lesson. We focus on lessons, focus on student learning, not the teachers. And at that point, they feel comfortable. And then we organize lesson study to see who would like to teach. And then the use the lesson study approach. After that, the teacher really feel comfortable. Oh, I never, I never thought about it. You know, how many teachers watch a lesson, so now they feel comfortable. And more important, they learn from that process. How to watch a lesson, how to discuss a lesson, that really, really benefits. So they just love lesson study, hope we do more. So I think it's not only coach issue, I think the strategy also important. Um, from my experience, uh, as I said, the lesson study begins with question. 
The big problem is many teachers or policy makers do not have a question. For example, new approach, new curriculum, you can tell teachers they should be able to do that. Teacher, many teachers, especially middle school, high school teachers, they like mathematics. They feel, I know enough mathematics. I can teach it. I don't have any problem. If students do not learn, that's their problem, not my problem. And then if you see the problem, either you hide or ignore. However, if the teacher think about it, my job is for students to learn something new, not just I need to tell something or showing. That's entire shift. How my student could not get this concept? Or how teacher cannot implement this standard? I think that always it's a good idea to start with question. Otherwise, if you do not have a question, you're not going to be a lifelong learner. Lifelong learner, the good mathematician, always you have a good question to pursue. So I think it's important to create some of the needs or question, not only teacher and the policymaker too. Okay. Any other question? Yes, please. Uh, thank you for the, this uh, very interesting panel. And I would like to ask a question uh, because you are just trying to assess the learning of the children uh, using some lesson study okay, plan. But uh, there are many other variables to, to cope with like social emotional uh, of the children, you know? So here in Brazil, we have many problems with that, like poverty, uh, disease, violence, and crimes. And how do you uh, put all these variables in this study? So Thank you for the important question, because I was in a Brazilian classroom last week, there are 16 students in the class, but on a the day there was a rain, only 10 students come. So it's because of the rain. That might be, it's not a mathematical reason, but it's a serious problem. So how you deal with this kind of other factors, and then there are a lot of complex, complex situation. Tyrant, how you do this? It's, yeah, it's a difficult question. Yeah, we, we cannot cope with many, many factors. But in my area, in the northeast part of Thailand, it's also the most poverty area of the country. And we start from that situation. But as I mentioned, if we try to engage the student from their point of view, we try to respect the idea and then in that sense we can touch their personal learning because when we design the tax we try to associate the tax or problem situation with their real world so in that sense they have a place when they engage in our open and dead problem then they have their own problem from their experience. So they can have a place in the classroom. The, the classroom has made sense and have some meaning for them. And then our tasks always start from, because it's meaningful for them in that sense, because it starts from their experience. In that sense, they, they, they like to come to school and in related to how we overcome with the, the teacher burden. When the teacher touch the student feeling or curiosity to, to learn, and then that was a fabulous relation between our children and, 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 and teachers. I, I don't know to, how to, to respond, but that's what you. we have been engaging for the last 15 years. And, and so now, even in the most poverty area in the country, but the national score climbing above the average. So that is what I can say. 
So、uh, I, was, I also went to the Malawi, the school. I visited two schools in Malawi. So I see a lot of similar problem s i t u a t i o n in your country, right? How, how you deal with the outside factors? Not, not necessarily outside, the other factors. Yeah,、right? uh, I think there, there are two things there. There's a teaching of the content and then working with the students within their context. So when we work with teachers, First of all, they have to get the mathematics right. They have to know how to teach the mathematics. And then after that, you have to know who am I teaching? That's when what you are talking about comes in. Because we also have poverty, we have disease, we have, we have a lot of other social issues. But we need to know the mathematics. The teachers have to know the mathematics first, how well to teach it. And then they have to know their students and to see how. Best also to teach within that context. So it's a difficult question to answer within a lesson study context because in the lesson study we're focusing on the content, but the teacher then should know who am I teaching. Any other comment for the panel? I, I could add one thing.、Um, of course, the, you know, there are a variety of issues to improve teaching and learning. However, If that the mathematics lesson is much more engaging and then students see a self efficacy, one part of the problem may be solved. Of course, there are other stuff, but you know, if you're a math teacher, that is the area that you have a most you know, the focus and then improve. I think that some of the other factors, maybe, even like a lane, if that the math lesson is very interesting. They may be able to use umbrella to come to the school. Thank you very much for、uh, you know, the stay in the Saturday night until 7 30. We will、really、appreciate you know,、uh, If you have any question, we are going to hear, so please answer to this question. Thank you very much. <laughs>